Well, 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 welcome back, guys, to another video, guys. My name is Ty Bear, and welcome back to a, the original Skyblock. And this is actually a brand new series. Yes, I'm going to be doing this series with you guys, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Again, this series is a full, not, no cheating whatsoever. This is just a single player world. Uh, I'm deciding to do it as a series, uh, just by myself, and uh, just kind of getting ready to play. Now, um, this is actually where we come play the original Skyblock game. See how far you can make it from the original gameplay without an extra, any extra help. Play with your friends on multiplayer. And remember, don't fall off. <laughs> um, okay, so it does give you five skins packs. Now, I wouldn't be able to use my normal skin pack, guys. I use my normal skin all the time. Now, we will be playing throughout the series, and like I said, it gives you five different skins um, that we can use, um, but we're just going to be using the original Skybox skin, and it's just going to be a lot of fun. Um, we're just going to use our regular skin uh, that we always use, uh, which is the bear. So, of course, guys, if you guys haven't done so, Leave a like, comment down below, please subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. And as always, guys, let's get started. Now, before we start this video, guys, uh, let's do the question of the day. If you could play any modern Minecraft, which one would it be and why? Okay, let's get going. As we log into the server, we should be able to have all this. We're going to... Give all the set, unlock all of our settings. And we can, let's just keep the creator settings on, which is full survival. Uh, the one thing I want to put on is, uh, is there a way I can add, um, how do I put on, Yes, we don't want that. We don't want it to be a multiplayer game. We want it to be just us, fully survival. And yes, we're going to keep everything on. Oh boy, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm sitting at the edge of my desk chair. It's going to be a lot of fun. But, like I said, are you ready to get ready to go on the server? My dog is in here with me sleeping on my bed. And I kind of cover up because it was too cold. And I left him out a little longer than I did usually bring him in. So, he's a little cold. I'm a little cold. So, real quick, let me turn off my fan so I can get warm in my workspace. Bingo! Perfect! Okay, so, like I said, we have so we can add resources. We have the behavior pack on, which is our Skyblock fact, or Skyblock uh, stuff. I'm going to lock my chair real quick. Bam! Locked. And we're gonna get started. So, how's everything going? If you guys are doing okay, leave a like, comment down below, please subscribe to this channel. And I'll see, let's get started on the series. Did you guys hear that? I think I boxed my knuckle right as it came. Camera was still recording on that part. Um, so if you guys heard that, good. Welcome to the world of Skyblock. My name is Beth. And I'm here to help you on your new adventure. Behind, Behind me are some boards, boards to help some information, information on what, what to, do. to do. Okay, so if this is going to be your island adventure. Stand on, Stand on that board, pressure, pressure like that the end of the path. Okay, so this is information right here that we can use. Oh, oh. and if you, and get, if you get a chance, check out, check out my brother's shop in the nether. He can hook you up with good stuff. Um, I'm wonder. I always wanted to take some of the, like this stuff in the game and implement them into the system, but we're not gonna do it. Uh, but we are going to be playing again on the game. Let's see what we can work with, and uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So we're gonna advance the island as much as we can. And he just said, if you want to visit his brother's shop in the Nether. So it means that we got a shop in the nether that we can go to and buy stuff, so... Good luck. Good luck. Um, yeah. 
Uh, we will go and visit his shop later. Okay, do we want this book? Yes or no? Let us know. Uh, we're going to continue working from here. We're going to actually just uh, keep our island just a little bit. We're going to... Okay, so this is the cobblestone generator. So we need... If I'm right, we go one, two, three. So we're going to actually start right here. So one, you go one block down, just like that. We should have five blocks. Ooh, almost hit that block. Okay, and then we should now have lava, an ice block near that. Then a lava block on the end. Okay, so. If we are right, like he said, in the map, we're going to place an ice block here and our lava block here. Just like that. Okay? Then if I'm right, if I go right here we should have that block there and we're gonna go about we're gonna put these three blocks that I just broke like that and then whatever we get from there we should be able to extend our island from now on so now we need to cut down a tree here, but let's read the book first. Original Sky Book by Sapphire Studios. Each island within this world will contain a book with hints and information that some may find useful for a more original experience. The books are not advised. Spoiler! Be warned, there is a hint beyond this page. In number one, the items in this chest are used to make a cobblestone generator. This should be your first objective, which we just did. Flip to the next page for a never hint. The second objective is beyond this island. Travel to the small desert island nearby and contain a you an unlit portal to the nether. Ha 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 ha. Which is well his brother's shop, apparently. Okay, book gone. We're gonna keep this in the chest. This chest is actually gonna be useful later, so we're just gonna keep it. We're gonna get the bucket. We're gonna keep everything. Uh, later on, I want to update this island. I'm gonna build up the island a little bit, and I want to change half the island a little bit to make cobblestone. So we're gonna first of all gather some material, and then we're gonna upgrade the island as much as we can. Uh, but we need to have a little bit of material first. So basically, what I want to do: get a pickaxe, then gather free. Food. A bunch of wood so then I want to uh, make a crafting table and grab some sticks which are eight basically we can then uh, work our way in and then we're gonna have to see what we got from there so I guess I let's continue going as we are the series if you guys have not done so like, subscribe, comment down below, and let's keep on going. Now, throughout the series, we are going to be able to get over to that island, which is for the unlit portal. But for right now, we're going to kind of stick around and not worry about it. Now, we need a piece of flint, which I think we can get with a shovel. So for right now, I'm going to place a crafting table right there. And then we're gonna continue working. Okay, we gotta we're gonna let that grow out grow it. And we're gonna place that block right there. That is where our we get an apple there. 
No, but we didn't. Okay. Like I said, we're just going to continue. If we can get more items later throughout the series, uh, we'll kind of work our way in. But, like I said, we're going to be a little bit busy kind of collecting material. And we're going to see what we got from there. Later on in the series, if we get any redstone or any other material, we are going to basically uh, survive off of it. Um, and then we're going to, yeah, we're going to basically try to get some material for that. So what I want to do, grab a pickaxe, a couple pickaxes at least for right now. And then right here is where our new block is going to be. You know, like I said, we're going to have a while before we uh, get anything good throughout the series. So just kind of stay with us. If you guys see anything good, and we don't, we get it later, then we'll collect it. But for right now, we're just gonna worry about getting a little bit of survival. We're gonna survive on our own. And what's that? Now let's make a nether uh, pickaxe. We made a stone. This will make it even faster, miner. And then we'll be able to survive. Uh, with our pickaxe right now on that server. We have we are pretty much doing okay, and I love it because you know being able to survive on that world we have to uh yeah. So are you guys enjoying season eight of Harker Lifestyle? Yes or no? Uh, let me know down in the comments because we take our time to post those videos, get them all ready to go, and it's a big series to do. It's a hard series. And, uh, like I said, I love doing Arkham Lifestyle, but it takes a lot of effort and time out of our hands to get all that out of the way. And I love doing Arkham Lifestyle, but it just, you know, like I said, just takes a lot of my time. And when I'm ha busy, I just, like, multitask everything, and then I just don't have much time to do all that. So what I'm going to do right now is... Put a block here. Well, a dove block. Just a regular block. So we can have it there. Then I'm going to go ahead and take apart this island real quick. And then we should be good to go. I'm only taking apart one layer. Um, so right now I'm just going to take apart a little bit at a time, but right now I'm going to also collect a lot of, uh, blocks here so I can have a little bit of cobblestone. And that should only take about half an hour. So what I should do is I'm going to high last my mining and then I'll be right back.
Okay, so we are back, and we're gonna go ahead get rid of the water here. This is gonna be this is only a temporary thing, and because also I don't need it anymore, I'm going to go ahead also and grab the bucket of water for something else. I don't really care about the lava right now. I can always get more lava later, but I want to keep the water as a source block, and then I want to, yeah, just kind of, also because I also need, actually I do need the bucket of water, because I also need to go ahead and make the custom generator again. So, what I'm going to do real quick, is I'm going to break this block right here, kabam, and bam. And right here. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place a block right here. So I'm going to go ahead and break a block right here, just for right now. Where I'm going to go ahead and redesign this, by the way. So if I'm right, if I come right about here okay close the block here and then take out this block right here this is just going to help tidy up the area a little bit I place my only bucket of water right here also break that block right there dang it okay break that block put that block right there place that block right there you got your water source in and also if I grab that bucket Right now, that's gonna help. We'll replace that in just a few minutes. Place that block right there. Place that bucket of lava right there. Alright. And I just like it because it makes a lot more sense where I'm placing that. Just for right now. Just stay with me. Because I know what kind of what I'm doing. <laughs> um Okay. Alright, let's give it that. Oop, not there. And I'm not placing blocks that I don't want to place. Okay, we're gonna have a lot to do, guys. We're gonna. Because we're gonna have to plant some trees. We're gonna need that one piece of dirt pack.
place that back. There are those. Okay, if those go, because we're not going to need them. Place that button in. And then come over onto this side. Okay, so at least if I get these two back, then. Okay, just for now, that's just the way we want it. For just right now. Um, I'm just going to place a dirt here. We're going to roll some wood, and then we're going to change this whole platform to wood. So don't worry, this whole platform is going to be wood. But we can start to start working on that. Get a little bit of cobblestone. And then we're going to just extend this platform out just a lot. Because. It just doesn't make sense. Um, what we're doing is going to need a crafting table right there. We're going to actually make these into slabs. Yeah, no, we're just going to make these all into slabs for right now. Then we're good to go from here. And then we'll just have a tree growing. But yeah, I just think it's gonna look much nicer when we're done. Um, but we'll see what we can do from there. And then we'll kind of, you know, work a little bit of a magic, more of a magic when we get there. Um, but for right now, we're gonna stick right now, waiting for the tree to grow. So let me do that real quick, guys, and I'll be right back. Okay, so after a little bit of work, um, we did it. We got a little bit of stuff done. Um, so, I'm putting all my materials away for right now. Uh, we're not going to worry about much because we are going to be doing uh, this. This is the one we are going to be focusing on the most in today's episode. And why are we focusing on this island the most today? Um, it's because I have a lot of plans with this island and a couple other islands. Um, with that island, I have to focus on the most as well, but I have a really cool design for that island, that, uh, to redo that part of the island, and it should only take a couple days, but I don't want to do it in the day's episode. I want to focus on this main island and the cobblestone generator. So, what I want to do right now is get a good platform started where the cobblestone generator will be. Uh, so, I want to bring this platform of bridge out. 10 blocks, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, okay, so let me pop that in real quick, so I'm going to stay in view right here, and the bridge, by the time you come, I come back, I'm naturally, not naturally, I'm going to go ahead and start building that bridge right now, and, uh, yeah, um, so we're going to just bring up, I don't think I like, I just like having these concrete blocks, these are not going to be all the way across, these are just a, uh, just barrier blocks, to help kind of know where we are going to be and then just kind of help design that platform for the next build so um, just kind of letting you guys know that is for that um, but let me go ahead and build our cobblestone generator and where that is going to be and then I'll come back and I'll show you guys what I'm what I've done okay I'm in my testing world right now I'm testing out this design so we're gonna place a rest of dust right here I found this by K1 Inc. I'm actually using his tutorial right now. Uh, so if you guys do hear it in the background, I am using his tutorial currently. Um, I didn't know how to build it, so I just the so cobblestone. The cobblestone. The rest of the stand. So I'm just kind of designing it. Then I'm gonna recreate it on the thing. Right there, like so. Or repeat. We did find some redstone while we were uh, digging around a little bit, so, um, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on three ticks right here. You guys can either put it on three. I want it on three ticks. And then you're going to place a block right here. 
Smart Game. A ver si me escucho. And then you can play a Resident Torch. From that side. Okay, black one forward. What you're going to do next is you're going to place a Nether Repeater right here on one tick delay. I should put that on four ticks. Don't worry about it. And on four ticks, or repeat it there, four ticks and in black in front of it. And then you can place a block right here. So just repeat it right there. And you're just going to have something like that, and it's just going to look like something that, out of the system. I just like this design, and it just makes That's sense. Really System and activate the whole thing. So here you can put two pieces of rest. Now, this is actually going to be um block right here. I'm going to place a blue block just to mark down the chest type. Um, what you're going to do next is you're going to place one, two, from dust, two repeaters. Then you're going to place down two repeaters just like that. Like so. Any block on both sides. Place a block right here, a block right there. Right. With a repeater going towards the side that direction. And then you want to place a repeater going like that. Keep that on one tick for just a second. Now make sure, guys, this is very crucial. Make sure that that repeater. And make sure that repeater is on two ticks delay. So it's just going to look like this. So you have three ticks, four ticks. One tick, one tick, two ticks. The right there is on two ticks, which you can find otherwise the system will not send quick pull signal or outwards. Which is creating your quick pull. And what you're going to do, come on to this side, place a blocker at this. Add a rest on torch there, and a rest on dust going on the side of the repeat. With then you're gonna place boom like that, repeat it like that. On two ticks delay so far. Sorry, on one tick delay. With a block going forward. On the side. Rest on dust. Any block right. And don't worry. Rest on dust. Over here. With a block like this. Don't worry. Now we're gonna create a push tower going upward. I mean, I'm gonna explain everything from this point on, but it's really the same. And then what you're gonna do is now we're gonna build a torch tower. So this is all your redstone right here. The rest of the machine will be going outwards. So I just want to make sure it's all working before we built it on the server using the same tutorial. By the way, this again, this tutorial is by K1 Inc. Um, so. Yeah. That quick pulse just activates this to a one tick pulse going upward. So you place So like I said, this is by K1 Inc. He built this himself. So we're gonna place a resin torch here, a block on top. A block on top with an interesting torch like that. The torch is going upwards in this exact pattern. And you're gonna have three torches going inwards. And you just wanna have the last one off with a block on top. Just like that. Perfect. One, two, and three. And we call this a push tower in case anybody doesn't know that. Now, to that, you're going to add six half slabs. Then we're going to take out our half slabs. Don't worry, there's going to be something here in just a minute. I'm going to show you guys how to do this. And you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. And after we're done, we're going to have five. Just going to look like this, basically. So seven, eight, and nine will be closed. Six slabs <laughs> going forward. Like so. And a straight line of rest. And what we're gonna do is take a piece of rest on dust. One, two, three, four, five, six, and maybe just seven. Yes. 
so I have seven redstone dust. Don't worry, all this redstone is going to be working. Hopefully it works. If it doesn't, then yeah, it does something wrong. We're hoping it works. Now starting from that repeater right there, guys, where the blue's at, just the edge of this, you have to face five regular pistons, like so. Okay, now we're gonna take some pistons, regular pistons, out of our inventory here, and we're gonna go ahead and place one, two, three, four, five. Like that. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. Starting from that rest of the dust there, you're going to add a large chest going forward. Now, what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to take out a chest. Like what I said here, this is going to be where your chest is going to go. And that's perfect. So, in this format, about two blocks from this one thing, a hopper at the top. Then we're going to go ahead and take out a hopper, place back five. One, two, three, four, five. Just like that. So they line up the, like that. And what we're going to do now is we are going to put in some cobblestone so it doesn't affect anything. We're going to just place, yeah, it really helps the machine. So there we go. This is how the machine is going to work, and I'll show you guys if it works in just a minute. Here, you're going to place some blocks inside temporarily. That's basically the hard part of the full design. I'm going to show you how to add some decoration, whatever you need to make some stuff like that. Place a block there. Alright, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to decorate it just a little bit on camera so I can. Well, actually, I'm just going to decorate it real quick. Make it actually just look really cool. Place a block right here above that block. And if this works, we should have a lever right here. A lever that's going to control the system. As you can see, once it's on. And if I'm right, It all works. Okay, so this should all work. Then, um, which I'm happy about. Time are going off, creating that quick pulse up here. See? Which I'm really happy about. Like I said, guys, make sure that repeat is on two tip. Then turn it off, activate it, and that's it. Now we're gonna place a slab right here, so it doesn't interfere with that rest of the day. Then what I'm going to do real quick is also grab a stone brick slab, um, which I'm actually really happy about. I'm pretty sure now this would all work, but I just want to double check and make sure when I get all the lava in that it works. And now we can Dust, create a, have a real cobblestone uh, generator. And you're going to place a block on the side of it. Like so. Now on top of the computer guys, I'm going to place one slayer, and that's going to do two things. Provide it. Okay. So now, I'm also going to grab some stone, regular stone. Um, we'll see what we have in the material line when we get it rid with our rest of our cobblestone stuff. See if I can make a furnace and then I'll yeah, have that when I'm done. We can either do something like this. and make, I want to make this look more of a stone look anyway, so... I'm uh, just basically going to go full out with... Uh, Blocks here. Which 
is like that. So basically, you're just gonna have something like this. Then you're gonna place a natter stone block on that with a regular block like that. Just perfect. Don't worry, anything that we're gonna do, we're just gonna make it work. Um, I want this over you can come back here like this, and this is where you can be able to mine and get all your cobblestone. Now, we're not done yet, so. And a chisel stone right there. So you have full access towards the chest. There's not one block up, place one stair. Blocks going upwards to you. And a chisel stone right there. So you have full access towards the chest, from affecting your height. At this point, guys, you're going to place blocks going upwards to you, parallel to the piston. Okay, so we're just going to have a lot of work here, guys. I'm going to go ahead and just do all that, parallel with the piston, parallel with the piston, bam, with a stone block like that. That's just going to make it look really cool. And then... There's not one block up, place one stair, and don't forget the iron trap door. Now this is my feature that I added uh, to the machine, actually he added it, but I like the machine uh, look. So we're going to add a iron trap door right here. First I thought it was like a in rod, but it ended up being a trap door. So, door. And that's going to make this beautiful, beautiful entrance to our base. So what I'm doing now is I'm going ahead and grabbing that, placing that in. And look, it looked amazing. So what we're going to do next is we're going to figure out if we need to do water or not. If we do, we're going to place it in. Now we're going to work on this side. Now on the right side is where I'm going to place the water. I'm going to place a few blocks right over here on the bottom, parallel to the hopper, and wrap it around to the front end. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is all going to work, but I just want to make sure. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to double check and make sure it all works. Uh, by going and doing all the finish up, and then I'll come back, and hopefully... I can show you guys it works. Um, but you don't know until it, we try it. So, um, I don't like to try something that I don't know yet if it works. Um, but also, I want to add a little bit of a glass feature with this and just kind of make it look really cool. Um, but we're almost done anyway, so I'm just going to continue right here. The only thing is, on the lava side, the water side, there will be slight differences. Okay, on the water, there's going to be a slight difference. Um, and I'm just going to grab some blocks real quick. More blocks. One, two. And on the lava side here, you can place another row of blocks. Okay, so this is the difference. Like so, creating the exact pattern. So on this side, all you're going to do is just bring this side up. That little center part. Okay. The home and then on this side, you're not gonna do anything except for bringing this out. Right and then you're gonna fill the inside as well. And bring bam. Just like that. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to come back here in the back. Just go one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, one. One, one. 
chiseled. I've been going to do a lot of conclusions on that. It looks real good. Let's give a little more detail. And once again, we're going to continue covering this entire section up like so. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're just going to continue this by bringing this all the way up until you reach that. Lay it right there, bring it up like that. Perfect, you are good to go. Now at this point, guys, we're gonna place a few blocks on this side, right there at that edge, and move it straight up. Now whatever we do on one side, we're gonna repeat on the other side, so we're gonna place some blocks right over there, like so. Okay, and this is something you're gonna follow along with because this part I need to actually check. So, what you're going to do is you're going to have something lined up like this and then you're going to have something lined up like this so you're going to have something like that fantastic and starting from the front guys we're going to place right there block right across and of course do this on the opposite side as well this next part you're going to actually need to go up to right about there, up to right about there, and then this is next, it just looks like that, and then, now it's just turning out to be really cool, water, a really cool feature, uh, when we're done, we should have something that looks like that. We're going to really make some details pop out. Now, get your stairs ready, you're going to place it right there, and bring it straight to the front. Okay, this next little feature I want to add is a stair feature, which is going to look really cool. Uh, we're going to be bringing this back a couple blocks, and I want to actually put, I'm going to just assign the platform a little bit on the camera. So this is about it, and then when we're done, we'll design the main platform. Now, there's going to be a stone brick platform. I want to do like a basically a concrete platform, I guess, because we got a lot of concrete. Stay there and bring them also towards the back at this point. Now, we're going to do the back end as well. We're going to connect everything together. So, place some stairs right there on the side. Just wrap that around so you connect to the front. Okay. So, next. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and connect this to right about here. Um, he did it this way where it connected like that, but um, right now I'm just going to go ahead and place it like that until it tells me to. Stay right there. Yeah, no, you're gonna all you're gonna connect all these. Bam. Just like that. And something like that. So you're gonna have it all the way connected around. So just like this, basically. <laughs> and two slabs like so. Beautiful. This next little feature I wanna add is also a little bit cool. And it just goes in with the the project here. Um, we're going to add two stone brick slabs, one, two, one, two, and I just love it. It gives that, you know, square feeling, but not as bad. If you can make this look tremendously nice, I mean, it just looks so, so much better. Over here, guys, are going to add some stairs. The only difference is right here in the corner, you're going to place them on the sides, kind of get that curved look. Okay, this next one is going to be like this, then like that. Yep, 
Okay. So this is it. That is basically what we're going to be doing. Of course, bring that also on this side. And then you have it, guys. It just looks so much better. If you want to, just add a little bit there. Write that block, add that little chisel stone, just to get a little more highlight. Okay, this next little feature I like to add is uh, breaking this block on each side, just to add a little bit of a feature and a really cool detail look. So, um, yeah, it looks really good. Perfect. Now, at this point, I'm going to get your glass panels and I'm going to place it right there on the side and connect it towards the back. Okay, this next piece. Is the glass for the when we do all the water and lava so you can see inside, which I really love. I don't want you guys to be able to see inside, guys. I really do. I want you guys to see what's inside this thing. And it just looks really cool. So, um, Of course, get some stairs on top here, and just kind of invert weave it on the bottom. Once again, get your glass. Okay, so what I'm going to do real quick is do all the stairs real quick, and then we are going to hopefully play some upside down. Um, I got some buckets on the Hard Glass House server, so. We should be able to build this if we wanted to on there. So we can always make the stuff for it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm hoping right now we'll get to do water. They call it and stairs upside down, come towards the front. And that little curvature right there. And at this point, starting parallel to the pistons, you can add your buckets of water. Okay, this next little feature here is the water and lava. So what I'm going to do real quick is I like to clear my inventory. And then I like to grab all that. On this side, you're going to have one, two, three, four, five. Which apparently pistons are waterlogged. Uh, okay. Learning something new about the game that I didn't know. So that means this doesn't work. So back to the drawing board, Mac. So that doesn't work. So back to the drawing board, and I'll do a little bit of research, build a little bit, do some. Yeah. So I can, uh, Get a glowstone generator built that works. So you guys can see that I'm working my butt off here. Um, but like I said, I want to be able to do this. I have a little bit of a machinery here on our base. So again, this doesn't work. So we're going to keep it there, but it's a testing world to make sure things work. Um, but like I said, this is a nano project that was tested. I didn't really care what this guy did. What I did here. Uh, this never worked anyway, so yeah, we're good to go on that. Uh, but I'm going to be building on a nano video series that I'm working on. So you guys will see that. And then this is the uh, thing that I built. So this is actually going to be seven, the same about seven blocks, eight blocks tall on the back here, and then we should be having some cool features. This is actually our our new storage unit, 
um, for the Nanders for Harker Lifestyle, but we haven't really built it yet, so we're getting ready to do that. Um, so like I'm doing right now is I'm just counting. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, 15, 16, 17, 18. So 19 blocks going backwards here. So about 19. So I need to go one block back, okay. That's what I was checking. So about 18 blocks from this spot, but 19 blocks all together. So I need to go one more back on this thing. So I'm digging out the room with Lim Ampy. Or Jesse, I call him Jesse. His real name is Jesse. He told me to call him Jesse. So, like I said, this is going to be our storage unit. These are going to all have different features to the game. And it's just going to look really cool. So, to get ready, because this is going to be a really fun series, guys, and I'll enjoy it myself. So. Like I said, this all works, and actually, I was at it um, when I first saw it on his world. Uh, let me show you guys what he did. I love this, actually. Um, where are they? Here they are. He had this type of pressure plate on it, and it does not. It doesn't play non chords that well, but. I guess it, oh, it doesn't work on this version. Okay. Like I said, it doesn't work. So, what we're going to be having is this little pressure plate right here. Um, I want to have a really, I really just want to stop pressure plate um, for mine. So, it doesn't look hidden. It doesn't look hidden to me. It just looks really good when I build it. I just love it. You know, it's a good system. So this is 25 by 19 blocks, and if you guys didn't build that, go ahead and do it. Alex has one already, and it works fully, so it, I'm happy about that. I feel like they did really well with the system. So I'm going to build it on mine, on my, at my base, and it's going to be full survival, like I said. <sighs> So, yeah. Okay, let's head back over to the other server real quick. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of work over there. So, um, okay, what's in the video here? I had some Marco Vice other film. Uh, another for a while. I need to get hold of Alex one more time. Say, hey, you need to have our meeting right now. Uh, I'm not going to put up with this right now. You need to go and have a meeting. So, let's go and do that real quick. And I'll be, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Have a day, bro. It's just day.